So according to mechanics and experts and people who have to fix these things, what is the best, most reliable generation of Dodge pickup truck? The answer is 1994 to 2003, and you'll wanna get one of the bigger V8s. The 4.7 liter V8 is prone to head gasket failure, which blows up your whole engine, and then you gotta buy a whole new engine. Uh, some transmission problems, but they can be fixed for a reasonable price. So overall, this is the most reliable, functional, uh, everyday Dodge pickup truck that you can get. This particular one has a four inch lift on it and it's been beaten all to hell. It's got stickers, which of course everybody knows that adds 50 horsepower having that sticker and all those other stickers you add up to a whole lot of extra power. This one, my son's friend got as his first vehicle as a high school kid and he drove it like a Mario Kart and just beat the absolute hell out of it. So even with the four inch lift, if you put fat tires on it and you jump it and bottom it all the way out, you're gonna run into the fender in the back and in the front, he cut down the fender to get it out of the way. And then the inner wheel well cover also got ripped out in one of the jump attempts. So it can take a beating, but you, you gotta cut in a little extra room in the bumper and rear fender area to make room for it. And one of the things people love most about this generation of trucks is the style. They really started the big grill movement where they put up this, this ridiculous silly grill on a regular size pickup truck to make you feel even more macho grande when you're driving it around. Really the only thing more macho manly than driving this pickup truck around would be driving around in a bulldozer. And on the interior, if we take a look, whoa, there's no seats in there. No, ha, kidding, they're camouflaged. So we got stickers, we got regular truck controls. So it's just like your basic truck, pretty simple old school truck. When you're sitting on the inside, there's a little bit of leg room for the passengers. So they're able to get five teenagers in here and run around in the dirt with reasonable comfort. Get everybody up to the dunes and back. Oh, so what's it like to drive? Engine is smooth, it's pleasant. If you slow down too much, the QAnon people start jumping in the back. So you gotta keep it moving. You're in the QAnon territory. Um, the layer of dirt on the windshield protects you from the elements, keeps you from getting sunburned. This is a, a silly, silly machine to drive, but objectively, according to the experts, this is the best generation of Dodge pickup truck. And if you pimp it out like this and give it to a kid and let him beat the hell out of it, most likely it'll still stay running. Woohoo!